Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 286 pounds, Brock. It is cowboy time at the Showcase of the Immortals. Brock Lesnar has been a WrestleMania main eventer ever since. Make way for the head of the table. I think we can all agree we are and seeing a once in a lifetime in competitor. At That's 65 pounds. WrestleMania, acknowledge him. Plenty of WrestleMania history for the Tribal Chief, defeating legends like Triple H and The Undertaker. But since taking his spot at the head of the table, he has successfully defended the same championship at three consecutive WrestleMania. Extreme rules means anything goes and the fight can go anywhere in the arena, the locker room, or the parking lot. But pin or submission must occur in the ring. One of the dangers of an extreme rules match is it can very quickly turn into an all-out brawl. Well, a match like this shows what having devious intentions is all about. A competitor can't hesitate to do what they need to do. Being able to pull that off, no one is going to question if you skip going to the gym today. Hard landing. Oh, this is just flat-out punishment. Chicken wing. Uh-oh. And he's able to counter. And Brock puts a stop to that. Finds a counter for Lesnar. Backbreaker. Power slam. You have to be in peak physical condition to pull off a move with that much weight behind it. Perfect mix of pure power and bad intentions. Bad intentions in mind. This superstar climbing up top. Wait a second. The distance halfway across the ring. Like they say, what goes up must come down, and that was a long way down. Taking it outside the ring now. Chicken wing underhook. Uh oh. Half and half oh suplex. Gosh. There are plenty of ways battling in this area could end in serious harm. Reigns able to sidestep. Brock clearly has the advantage here, guys. Reigns has to turn the tide quickly. Oh, and finds the mark. Going to be tough to bounce back from that one. In this type of match, Byron, how does a superstar combat against the fact that they could fall victim to a vicious and hellacious attack? Well, the difficult part is once an opponent gets the upper hand, you have to stop the onslaught yourself. There are no rope breaks, no five counts. Yeah, the referee is truly only there to count pinfall attempts and check to see if a combatant submits. Bringing a... Oh, straight to the floor! Really thought that was going to work, but now we got a human being we have to scrape off the floor. Okay, he's re-entering the ring. With a cross to the end of the table. A beatdown on the big dog. Lesnar is calling the shots now. Chicken wing. Uh-oh. Oh, what a counter. Roman managing to get some control back now. Reigns isn't allowing that burst of attacks to throw him off his game. Suplex. Into the pin attempt. A lot of energy left in that kick out. This matchup isn't anywhere near over. Like setting up for a suplex. Looking to finish things off. Oh, wow. Straight through the heart of the table. We are through the looking glass now, people. Anything goes from here on out. Dodged right on cue. And this might not have a pleasant ending. Looks like they do not want them inside the ring anymore. 
Time to venture outside the ropes. Gets him with the counter. Roman Reigns with a schoolboy pinning combination. No! And slamming him down into a power bomb. No muss, no fuss on that delivery. Someone clearly doesn't want this match to go on much longer than it has to. Boom! A cracking blow from that flying trash can. Looking for something, anything under the ring. And now with him going for the table, we're just in straight up appetite for destruction territory here. Back into the ring. Tonight, because people wanted to Superman 
punch by the Tribal Chief. And a spear. And Lesnar is out. Makes a cover. What? How? How? Kick it out at one after that is unheard of. Roman has been denied. This is not something we're used to seeing. And by the looks of things, neither is Reigns. And back in the ring we go. He avoids the damage. He got whipped into that corner. Again. Chicken wing underhook. Uh oh. Half and half oh, suplex. Gosh. The power on display right now is ridiculous. to the floor now. And he has free reign to the outside with no count outs to worry about. Coming back into the ring, back to the action. And you 
can't blame him for standing his ground and making him pay for the interruption. Just carrying the opposition anywhere they want. 